Hey everybody, it's George from Minecraft. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to do a combination lock tutorial for your door. Uh, and before I start, I just want to say really sorry guys for no videos lately. I've just been really busy and I've been away. So, I'm just going to go ahead into the tutorials. First off guys, you need to just decide where you want to have your door. For this one, I'm going to use an iron door. It doesn't really make a difference. And I've removed that block guys for a reason. And you'll see later on, it's just to show you an example. So, and you need to leave a block either side of the door and like so. And then you need to just place a button. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference which side or what height or anything like that. It's just it's just to finish off your circuit. Then you need to place your, your levers or levers. And uh, for this I've done 6 and I'm going to do combination 1, 3, 5. So once you've done that guys, you're going around the back and you're going to uh, wire this in. So for every switch combination that we want on so the down means that's going to be our combination so we need to place a redstone torch on each one of them so you need to just come around the back guys and behind each one of them you need to just place a redstone torch so one three and five as you can see they should be off and if the lever is turned on the redstone torch will be on so that means our uh, combination lock won't work so then you just need to wire this in really quick just every free block like so and the next thing you need to do guys is just get redstone torch and place it behind any one of these bottom blocks it doesn't really make a difference but i just place it there then place one redstone uh, dust and then place three blocks oh, three blocks like so and then just get two more redstone torch guys and we're placing these on top and it's important you place these on top like so and the next thing you need to do is you need to place a redstone torch there like so and in between these just place redstone dust like that and this torch should be out and that torch should be out but for this to work guys we need to get these two top torches off and this one to light up so that's where we need to wire in our button because when uh, this circuit uh, knocks off this redstone torch but the button needs to lock off the other top redstone torch so i've just wired it in before guys and it's just going to wire into the side of the redstone torch like so and i just real quickly run around and i show you what it should look like so if done correctly guys uh, the redstone torch should go off but as I can see, it's just disable this and see the two of them are on. And if I do this, that one should be on. The other one's still on. So you need to just turn that off, guys, like so. And run quickly around here. And make sure this torch is still off. And you just need to run a quick redstone circuit into your door. Uh, for the sake of the video, guys, I've just already done that. And I've not even tried to bury it. But you can hide it. Just uh, mess around with it and you'll figure it out yourselves. So as you can see, the far one is off because this combination is correct. If the combination is incorrect, that is not going to work. And even if you press the button, it still won't open the door. So the combination needs to be correct. And mine again is 1, 3, 5. So that torch should be off. And if I press this, the door should open. So as you can see, it's working 100% guys. And just if you want to just reset it like so. There you go. That's it. So hopefully you guys found this uh, useful. And just before I finish, you've no way of opening this door on the inside. So you can just play place the lever there and that will open the door from the inside and it will reset so hopefully you guys found this useful and again i just want to say really sorry for the lack of videos i've just been busy and also the guys that are on my server well not mine brad's server i just want to give you a quick update uh it's not my server it's brad's and it's he's running it off uh, himself his own server so he's working on trying to get a fixed ip but he's on being unable to as of yet but that is why the ip keeps changing guys and I posted on the channel, so just keep an eye on the channel, and it will be there. And I just want to say really sorry about it, but there's nothing I can do. Like I know some people are getting annoyed with me about it, but I just it's out of my hands, guys. It's not my server. I'm just a moderator on it, and I kind of advertise it. So that's the problem, guys. So please just bear with me. Brad said he should have a fix in the next few days, so just bear with me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the combination lock tutorial, and hopefully you can. Uh, incorporate into your own houses and like i say in most videos because it does make a real difference to me is hopefully you can at least subscribe and comment on the video or like the video because it makes a serious difference it shows that things that i'm not too good on and things that i'm good on and things you enjoy and stuff like that so hopefully you guys can comment rate and subscribe and i shall see you all next episode